so this is where we left off uh, pretty much I'm going to flip these boards over paint the last edge so I'll get on that pretty quick but the sun's finally broken out so that means I can probably start getting on the bricks as soon as this bit of ground down here has dried up because I don't really want to be rolling around in the water it's dry under the boat but uh, try and find another pallet as well see if we can fill that up as well yeah start with these and uh, we'll get on with it well it's taken a little bit of time but I've finally got all of the bricks out from underneath the boat so the boat is now completely clear of bricks got two giant pallets of bricks that I'll cellophane wrap and see if we can move those with the crane on crane day but uh, as far as jobs go that's everything done so now it's just uh, prep for crane day really remove some of the bits anything that can roll around move fall down needs lying down or strapping down um, yeah just waiting for crane day now but the boat is pretty much ready I've got I don't know 16 hours now to wait uh, for the crane but uh, just put the fridge on I'll have that on for now I've even got some juggling stuff on there keep me occupied this evening so we may get a video of that but yeah fun, fun and games everybody else is, uh, is, on the, is on the way to getting ready my job here is on the way Steve's on the way tomorrow so yeah should be fun that's the pallets of bricks wrapped up with uh, shrink wrap cellophane to think when they was br a brand new they're four pound a brick these are AR2 arch specialist bricks they're 33 to a semicircle five foot diameter of the uh, circle or the, the arch yeah, can't give them away. Oh well, that's that done. That's me uh, done now for the rest of the day. I think I'm being told I'm going into that spot, the uh, cream boat, Steve's spot. And here we are, just waiting now for the crane. So at this point they're just moving James's boat off of the sled so they can put a few of the narrow boats into the river. I think Lee goes in, then uh, Nige goes in, then Hugh goes in, then Steve goes in and stays on the track for a couple of days I think. But they're moving James to a temporary spot right now so they can shimmy everything around, move me into one of the empty spots that's being made available and then they're going to put James into the, my spot, the spot that I've been occupying for three months. Yeah, the order the order's a little skew with. I'm sure it'll all level out in the end though. <coughs> We've got them straps a little far forward. Is he still on the boat? <laughs> That'll be a trip, won't it? I might put the phone on the boat when we move it. Can we? Let's see what happens with the inside. Alright. Just strap it to the window, see what happens. 
Yeah, just see if anything okay. shimmers, yeah. yeah. I'm going to tie a bit of string across the boat, see how much slack it gets given up. <laughs> like in an old submarine. <laughs> Amazing, look at that. Oh, he's skimped on painting the base. <laughs> it's very gentle as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's funny that, because some people say don't bother painting it, and some people say do. Yeah, everyone's told me to paint it, even though you rub it off. But I've got a really deep draft, man. I'm hitting every sandbank going. I've got 24 inch draft on mine. Oh, it's to relieve the air pressure. <laughs> Get him, killer. <laughs> Gorgeous dog. Yeah. 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 As I say, what's she like with the kennel and all the, like, the tool noise and all the whining and whirring? And... No, she's alright with all that, yeah. as long as she's heard it before. Yeah. If it's a new noise, it's like barking. Yeah. If, you know, like um, you know, cordless drills and that, like she's got used to it now, like yeah. a grinder and that sort of thing. You said they didn't move around much, she's swinging all over the place, that's bouncing. Yeah, that, I, well, we, Ollie just said, and he's right, it seems to get shot and it throws together. We do this all day, every day. Come on, lads, land it. Smash down. Done. Well done. Crowd goes wild. That's Lee ready to go. Steve's grinding already. <laughs> there you go, I don't know yet. I'm either in Steve's spot or Nigel's spot. So I might be getting even in Lee's spot. But it depends what's easier at the time. I'm not 100% sure. And pulling the trailer back out. Should have got stunned. Did pull the plug in. <laughs> Thing is, as well, we've got, to, we've got, got Lee's out of the way.
Well, they've talked me out of it. <laughs> there's, a cr there's a crane in two or three weeks. Apart from the James? Yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. I don't know what I'm looking at. Look, here. We've got tension. Come on, this is it. They're moving my boat. Yeah, best of luck, guys. Ooh. It's making a lot more noise than any of the other boats did. Look at that battleship. God, that's a monster. Last move of the day, uh, putting James's boat into my old spot so they can start the work on the welding. I'm sure he's going to have loads to say about it on his channel. I would highly recommend you watch the narrowboat that James built. Uh, great channel. Shot of my new space. I've uh, got the boat this way around so we can access the engine at some point. Loving this back shield that I didn't appreciate before. It reminds me of a uh, blast shield. So now I've got a bit of privacy in the boat. Uh, this is the dirt track. This is going to be muddy, uh, very muddy as it gets wetter. So I have to do something about this. Um, but yeah, now I'm in the trees. So it's nice and 
I say quiet, there is a kennel on the other side of the trees, but uh, it's a bit, a bit of debris back here, but nice open space to play. Big pile of rocks, it's a boat yard, so at some point I'm presuming that was ballast. But yeah, and here we are. Nicely situated, different part of the yard. Everything survived the, the move, nothing has shifted around, nothing's fell over, nothing's broken. So yeah, that's quite good. Uh, just get ready to start tidying up now. That'll be the end of uh, crane day, I think. Uh, quite a long day. Not a lot of sleep. A little bit worried about getting moved. But everything went smoothly, everything went well. Everybody's happy. All those that were going in the water went in the water with no problems. All those that were coming out, yeah, everything's fine. So yeah, another fun weekend at the, uh, at the wharf.